we've reached Empress of Oracle, where we tune into all things the divine. And I'm so honored to have Geraldine Oresco here today. But essentially what we are as humans are these incredible instruments. You know, we are these tools. We are a fractal of infinite consciousness. Mm-hmm. But within this fractal is a spectrum. You know, it is the spectrum of vibrational frequency. And that that frequency is being expressed in that duality. So feminine and masculine. We literally have the two sides to our body. The left is the feminine and the right is masculine. And so what's interesting is that we store a lot of suffering and experiences in the body that block our ability to unify those two perspectives. And that 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 those blockages are the perception and the belief that there is separation as opposed to oneness. So we see ourselves as ourselves and the other all the time, you know, and any time that we see the world like that it's going to cause suffering and conflict because it's not true it's just an illusion when we see ourselves and that's actually the meaning of unconditional love to see all things as a part of yourself that that external union with yourself and all things that means to be non-judgmental you know not keep uh, categorizing things uh, you just see it all as, as as a part more holistic perspective that's when you can start to be more compassionate with yourself and the world outside of you yes. and it shifts and and there's less suffering and and when that union happens inside the body as well uh, that's when there is inner harmony that's when there's peace that's when there isn't that inner battle that people think about and that that yeah. uh, you know that spiritual war that people think there is is um you know we we can dissolve all of that so it's it's a very powerful analogy for for that kind of transformation you know these days so much is happening in the world that seems so negative it kind of reminds me of that moment where the green goblin and (laughs) um uh spider-man are like dueling and then there's this moment where you think spider-man's about to die forever and then he just he like musters up that last bit of strength and then he defeats like the green goblin or he makes him, you know, go away or whatever. And I often wonder, are we in this kind of moment where we think everything is lost and all of a sudden we're going to fall through? Or are we like going down this black void because there's just so much going on and you can really feel that struggle. So do you think all is lost or do you think we're going to fall through this and everything's going to be okay? You know what? The past two years have been honestly the most amazing years you know, Mm. of this, of this history. Mm. Um, uh, And this is, of course, my perspective. Um, But um, I, what I'm seeing, and what I see by looking at this multidimensionality that we're a part of, is that the souls that have chosen to come in at this time to experience this, I mean, they are warrior souls, really, because, um, you know, if you think about it, if you think about the challenge that's being experience through this thing it's we are literally training ourselves to be okay with the unknown and we're doing that in such a powerful way because we are pushing the entire world has pushed themselves out of their comfort zone and whenever that happens only expansion is possible Anytime we stay stagnant, this is actually where we're counter creating. This is where we get stuck. This is where death is a result, right? But when things start moving and shaking up, um, this is where life can actually have have the option to understand that it has free will. And that's actually what we're doing now. Everyone that has was, you know, in their everyday lives working, took a moment, had to come home to their families, to their to their situations. And that's something that we would have never imagined would have happened. And a lot of things resulted from them. Some families have fallen apart, some families have come together. But mm. it's but truths have come to surface on every layer they have come to surface internally because you see you know what are your biggest fears which is for the human it's death you know human is the 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 death is is the most um you know terrible thing for for mankind so when you put an entire world in this challenge of having to face potential death you know um it causes people to kind of have a conversation with what that means and that's very powerful the buddhists you know they train themselves to connect with the concept of death 
daily mm -hmm. because you are training yourself to welcome that impermanence because and, and it helps us understand what we are as a humanity because we are this infinite life force you know and even though us in the spiritual realm we really truly understand that you know those are that are in the work and everyday life you know they don't have connection to nature they don't have connection to themselves so they lose that that memory that they are more than just this little survival uh, you know person so mm -hmm. so that i think was a gift that was given to us uh in a sense as a whole on the other side of it there is the shadow side of it which is manipulation control deceit and mind control right mm -hmm. and that has played out very heavily in all of this so the second part of the lesson, uh, aside from facing your fears and the fear of the unknown, is to discern, you know, what, what do we need? What does this organism, this body, and my family, for example, you know, our families, what do we need as a collective unit in order to be, to feel safe, to feel joy, to be able to love, to be able to be healthy and in harmony? And those are the questions that are really coming into people's minds right now, because they're trying to understand how to get to that place with so much challenge and diversity. And I think that that's something that would have never happened um, given past circumstances, because people weren't forced to have that question. Um, if, you, if you see our universe right now, this entire world, um, we are, th this galaxy is moving through this key moment mm -hmm. and the trajectory of the universe is like an infinity cycle. And at the same time, it is part of a rotational spiral um, of the entire universe. And, and actually, this is something that's actually proven mathematically that the universe is actually spinning. It is expanding and contracting at the same time. And we are cycling through this kind of contraction and expansion. And this contraction and expansion gives us opportunities to experience this dualistic aspect, right? So mm. as we are learning how to handle either one of these experiences, right now, the vibrational frequency has gone to the highest point which means we manifest faster, which means the veil is thinning, which means that we're able to be more intuitive. Um, and that uh, genetically as a human race, we have more access than ever to more of what we are in the non-physical. And that's, yeah. that means that an entire human race is ready for evolution on another dimensional aspect, which is why people talk about 5D a lot. I mm -hmm. don't uh, prescribe to the idea that we're going to 5D or anything because I feel that we are all the dimensional planes evolving mm. simultaneously and we are evolving on all those dimensional planes, you know, at all times, actually. So um, what what's really important to remember from all of this experience is that we literally create what we experience. Our environment even though we think that it's ourselves inside of these buildings and spaces, we are creating all of that. And collectively, we are co-creating experiences. So the more that we stay in a state of fear and helplessness, we are manifesting experiences that will highlight those things collectively. The more that we come into a state of love, joy, acceptance, and um, you know harmony, we are going to be experiencing that collectively. So it's really important for people to discern and to choose what they're participating in right now. Yeah. yeah. That reminds me a lot of the Seth Speaks by Jane Roberts. Have you, are you familiar with that at all? I haven't, I haven't read it, but I hear about it all the time. So yes. Yeah, you should definitely check it out. At one point he said, um, if you're in a room and you're feeling claustrophobic, they're in some energetic realm you can actually measure that the room has actually gotten smaller because it's just our consciousness so so much of what you're saying sounds so similar to that oh um, that's but, amazing yeah. yes 